Yekawan CSR, commonly known as the Dragunov. CSR in this case stands for Counter Sniper Rifle. This is going to be a simple and comprehensive and to the point review of this gun, taking a quick look at its performance and features. Echo One's thinking behind this gun was to make a semi-automatic DMR that could be used to eliminate other snipers with slower rates of fire compared to this gun's quick trigger response. This bad mother of a gun retails at $200 in the US. This gun's stock comes with an M150 spring, so its FPS is great for a DMR at roughly 335 FPS with 0.32 gram BBs and 390 FPS with 0.28 gram BBs, which just puts it just under 500 FPS with 0.20 gram BBs, making it legal for most outdoor fields. I highly recommend using at least a 0.28 gram BB or heavier. This AEG being a DMR only shoots at semi-automatic and has great trigger response. As far as the range and accuracy of this gun goes, I have a target set up roughly about 300 feet away, but this gun can shoot effectively about 350 feet or so. The accuracy of this gun stock is very solid, but not pinpoint. You can very easily hit a body, torso, or head size target at about 300 feet, no problem. Again, with its great trigger response, you can put enough rounds downrange in a short amount of time and eliminate some players. The rifle itself is built very solid with a full metal body, a polymer foregrip and stock that has a comfortable hard rubber cheek rest. The iron sight is the standard Kleshnikov sliding sight. The gun comes with two 150 round metal high capacity magazines and a 9.6 volt stick type battery. I happen to wire mine and the gun to Dean's plug, which I highly recommend any AG owners do. To access the battery compartment in the foregrip, you'll need to flip this lever up and align it straight with the barrel, then take the two foregrips apart. I happen to have and use an 11.1 volt ASG stick type LiPo battery for this gun and it fits perfectly. So if you're wondering, yes this gun is LiPo ready and I highly recommend using it for this AG. When clasping both foregrip sides back together, line up the divots and the nubs, make sure it's all flush, then lock the top latch down. Might take you a few tries to figure that out. The hop-up in this gun is located behind the charging bolt like most AEGs. The gun's hop-up is very unique though with a turnable wheel that can make the slightest adjustments to dial in the accuracy. Taking off the dust cover is done by pulling this lever down on the side of the body, then pulling off the dust cover. It's held in with this little latch here. Now we can better see the hop-up unit. This gun being a DMR, you're gonna want a scope for this bad boy. So I went ahead and got myself a knockoff POSP scope, which attaches to the standard Kleshnikov rail mount on the side of the body. So, Overall, this gun is solid built, sexy looking, has a great trigger response, great FPS, good range, good accuracy, and comes at a good price tag. Overall, I give this AG 8 Adidas stripes out of 10. Yes, solid DMR, great buy, much satisfaction. Subscribe and stay tuned for more, guys. Till next time. Mm.